Hello again. We have two new words today. Here's the first one, has. So let's go over the phrase that we're going to use to remember that the z sound at the end is written with an s. Has a sip. When we hear at the beginning of has, we write the letter H. When we hear a at the beginning of a, <laughs> we write the letter A. And when we hear s at the beginning of sip, we write the letter S. We'll be practicing that one again in a minute. But first, let's have a look at the next word. I'm sure you guessed it. His is simple is going to be the phrase we're going to use. And we've borrowed is simple from writing the word is. When we hear, we write the letter H. When we hear I, we write the letter I. And when we hear S, we write the letter S. So let's go over these two words again. See if you can remember the phrase. And we'll include the other words we've been going over in part two. His. What's the phrase we use? His is Simple. I can hear at the beginning of his, so I write the letter H. I can hear I at the beginning of is and S at the beginning of simple. And look at that. I was concentrating so hard that I forgot to dot the I. There we go. Next word. Has. Has a sip. I can hear. So I write the letter H. I can hear a. So I write the letter A. I can hear s. So I write the letter S. Has. Post. Post office stays tidy. I can hear p at the beginning of post. So I write the letter P. I can hear o at the beginning of office. So I write an O. S at the beginning of stays. And t at the beginning of tidy. Post. Go. Go on. I can hear g at the beginning of go. And o at the beginning of on. Go. Most. Most of Sue's toys. Most. I can hear M. Mm, I write the letter M. Of. I write the letter O. Sue's. I write the letter S. And toys. I write the letter T. And we have the word. Most. Let's go over our words again. Read them as whole words. Has. His. Most. Post. Go. You can illustrate. Here we have poor Mo. He has the most post. And he's very fed up. Illustrate any other words if you'd like to. And here are the words and the phrases 
that we use to remember how to spell them. You can keep this as a reminder or you can use it to ask somebody else to say the words so that you can prompt yourself to remember the phrases as you write your first sound spellings. Thank you for joining me.